My name is Dr. Robert Mitch. I am a cardiologist in Associates in Cardiovascular Disease, and my particular area of expertise is in interventional cardiology. Interventional cardiology is that area of cardiology where we attempt to utilize catheters to diagnose the presence of heart disease and to use catheters to treat the heart disease. A major focus in interventional cardiology is diagnosing patients with coronary artery disease, blockages in the coronary arteries, and then relieving those blockages utilizing catheters with balloons and stents. Emergency angioplasty is utilizing catheters to treat patients with coronary blockages which are causing heart attacks. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when patients came in with heart attacks, all we had to offer them was to put them at bed rest and utilize medications to stabilize them. Subsequently, the first major advance in the treatment of heart attacks was the development of thrombolytic therapy, potent drugs to go in and dissolve the clots that cause heart attacks. However, those thrombolytic agents only work in about 70% of patients. Over the last 15 years, it has become clear that the best therapy for patients who are having a heart attack is to take them to the catheterization laboratory, do an emergency angiogram, identify the blockage, and relieve the blockage with balloons and stents as quickly as possible. As long as that can be done within 90 minutes from the time the patient arrives in the hospital, it results in better outcomes for our patients. It relieves their pain, it reduces the amount of heart damage that they were going to have, and it returns them to full and active lifestyles faster.